Right, here we go. Uh. Hello folks, today I'm going to show you how to uh, remove the uh, LCD screen from the uh, laptop. As you can see, I've taken the uh, cover off. I'm going to make a start on the, uh, the screen itself. To remove this screen, you will need to remove screws here, 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 here. That drops the uh, this panel off. Then all you need to do is uh, screws here, 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 and this side here. Take those out, and the uh, the, mod the display fall can be removed. Okay. Right, on this panel you need to take the screw off here and here, that uh, drops this uh, back cover off and all you need to do is remove these four screws in the frame that holds the panel into position and then you can take the screen out. See you in a minute. Right folks, this is the the screens are off, front covers are off. Um, as you can see, this is the back of the uh, LCD screen. It's a luminized uh, foil to help dissipate the heat. This here is the camera. You can take it out separately without actually having to take the screen out. And here's the back of the uh, LCD screen. This part here is the motherboard for the screen which uh, provides all the display that you require and this is like the VGA cable on a standard uh, desktop PC this tape is a uh, heat resistance um, so that uh, it helps dissipate the heat and it doesn't melt to get this off all you have to do is just gently peel it to one side and then just pull away right folks I've taken the uh, four, eight, eight screws out as you can see it just uh, flops down out of the way next thing to do is uh, put this way somewhere securely and put the replacement screen on right folks the uh, screen is out uh, this is the uh, chassis settings for the uh, on which the uh, screen resides. I've box, put them in this position ready for the uh, screen to go down onto it. Here's the screen. You need two hands for this, but as I'm holding the camera, it's a bit more difficult. There you go. Over the top, and then all the next thing to do is put the screws in here, here, and then it's uh, ready for the ribbon kibble. Now, as you can see, line it down with the uh, chassis over, it allows you to get one or two of the screws in makes it easier to uh, put the rest of the screws in as you can see okay right folks get the top screws in here here and then you can just gently raise the screen up and then you can get these back screws in here and here as you can see and then that allows you to raise the screw that allows you to raise the screen up uh, so you can work on it. There you go. 
Yeah, as she knows, I still got the uh, film cover on, but uh, we're parked way there. The screen is reasonably secure in this respect, and this will allow you to uh, put the uh, ribbon cable on in at the back. Straight in. There we go. That's in. Let's check it in. Let's put this back on. This has got this plastic cover on, so it should be reasonably secure. And there you go, it's done. In order to uh, give a bit more slack, just move this cable out of the way, take the inverter out, and put it in. And then just a question of putting more like so and you're almost ready to uh, power it up and give it a test okay okay right folks I've uh, put this cover back on put these two screws in to uh, hold the back panel in I've had to slacken these wires out to give me a bit more flexibility uh, I put them back shortly now I've also taken the inverter off uh, to give me a bit more working room Right folks, um, don't forget to put these uh, cables back into these grooves. I put the screws back in here, here, here. I put this, tighten these screws up as you can see. Put the four screws on the side. And we're ready to put the front cover on. Make sure you've got uh, these cables are in their respective grooves. If you trap the cables, you're back to square one. And if you push the uh, some panels in too tight you'll uh, cut the, uh, the wires so take care first of all make sure the cables are in get a bit of a uh, paper tape put it over the top that holds them into position while you're working on it um, put the covers on 